this video tutorial, we're going to talk about how to send satisfaction surveys to your customers right from your tickets. So to do that, let's go ahead and open one of these tickets from my list view. As soon as we get into the ticket detail page, if you notice all the way up into the top right corner, under more actions, we have the ability to trigger a survey. This is a manual way. You get to choose when to do this. I can click on that button and then from here send the survey. You'll notice in a few seconds how that gets recorded as an actual action right within the ticket history. I even get to see the timestamp and when it happened. That's great. However, I also want you to keep in mind that your administrator can set Happy Fox in a way that it could automatically send surveys to your end users or customers as soon as you close the ticket. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. Uh, again, for uh, demo purposes, I'm going to uh, mimic that I'm going to respond to this customer. So I'm going to hit reply. And right before I send the reply, I'm going to adjust the status from in progress to close. Now I'm going to send the reply. And now that the reply has been recorded, I want you to notice the actual audit trail. So again, with a timestamp, I get to see exactly when I send the response. But look at what else. A little bit below that area, you can see that it recorded also the fact that I changed the status on the ticket from in progress to close. I added one minute of time consuming the ticket. But it also, it automatically sent the survey to the customer. So that's it. To recap, remember, there are two ways that surveys can be sent. You can send them manually all the way up in the top right corner under more actions, or they can be sent automatically every time you close the ticket. If you have any questions about this feature, please feel free to look into our knowledge base or reach out to our support team. You can always raise the ticket or chat with them if needed. All the way up into the top right corner, you'll see the little question mark icon where you can find some more information. Thanks for watching.